Welcome back guys, Johnny here, and I have another exciting video for you today. I found a hell Mary of stocks here, okay? Now this company is Gladstone Land Corp, and their ticker symbol is L-A-N-D, or land. It's very easy to remember, which is probably why so many people remember to invest in this. But look at this. I invested in this company in around 2020 when I noticed it definitely went down slightly. It didn't go down by much, but it went down from 13 to about 9 during one of the craziest times in my, you know, in, in my existence so far, I guess. Um, not much happened there, right? So I was like, you know what? Let me buy some shares. Bought some shares here around the, uh, I was about the $10 mark. I think it was like 1005, 1015, something like that. And I sold them. I sold them in May of 2021 for double. And I made hundreds of dollars on that investment. But look what happened. Look what happened if I would have saved. This is crazy. From where I sold to here was 102% more than when I sold. Isn't that nuts? Why? We're going to talk about it. And I'm going to tell you why and how I think this company has a potential of running up to $40 again and 100% or doubling its value in a very short amount of time. Land isn't going anywhere. They're not making any more of it. And Gladstone Land is actually the one of the largest landholders that own and lease farmland. Now, it owns approximately 164 farms comprised of over 112,000 acres across 15 states, as well as several other farm-related facilities. Now, the, com the company's farms are located in regions where tenants are able to grow fresh produce, annual row crops, such as berries and vegetables. And as you guys have seen with inflation, vegetables and berries are way up. So they are able to pay their rents on time and in a fashionable manner now which are these are generally planted and harvested annually right so they it takes time for them to get to that end stage um, it also owns farms growing permanent crops such as almonds apples cherries figs lemons olives pistachios and other orchards as well as blueberry groves and vineyards so land is doing great even on the off season waiting for its berries and vegetables they are consistently and constantly producing other crops to help this company grow and and keep itself sustainable now land is a reit which is so crazy you guys know i love reits i get excited about reits and for all of you who don't know what a reit is it's a real estate investment trust and they are obligated by law to pay 90% of their earnings and profits to shareholders just like us in the form of dividends. Now, some of these companies pay monthly dividends and some of them pay quarterly dividends. But uh, they are either way great, great uh, assets to add and include into your portfolio now as you can see here from 2020 to just a short two years later the company went up 276 percent imagine that imagine that i would have made instead of hundreds of dollars i would have made thousands and thousands of dollars on my initial investment but you know what? I'm not beating myself up about it. What I'm doing is using it as an opportunity to make more. Now, look at this. Look at this gap here. Not only do they own several farms, facilities, and other related orchards, vineyards, and things like that, but they also have cooling facilities, packing houses, processing facilities, and other storage facilities. This company is massive, and they've managed by an external advisor, which is Gladstone Management Corporation. Now, there are a lot of different companies and subsectors of Gladstone. I love GLAD, ticker symbol GLAD. Um, 
and Gain, G-A-I-N. They are also Gladstone managed companies. Now, as you can see here, their 52 week high was $42.10. And their 52 week low was $17.20. But look at the track record on Gladstone on land. This is amazing. Gladstone land. Why? Because they're not making it anymore. And I have a sneaky suspicion that this company is going to double from 20 to 44. It might not be in two years might be in five this time or 10 this time but it will go back up to its original price now what happens when it does well if you bought in today even at the twenty dollar and ten cent mark and it got up to the 40 mark you would be at a 95 percent profit in the long run um, when this company does go up and it has it already has gone up once now some financials with this is showing from analysts that seven analysts are saying that it is a buy. 14% are saying it's a strong buy and 42% are saying it is a buy. The other 42% remainder is saying it is a hold. But look at the an analyst price target here. We're currently sitting at $19.88. The low price target is $21. The average is 26 and the high is $36. So we are just shy of the $41 high of the year with their price target. So if you invested today at a $20 price point, then you would have the potential to make $16 on every $20 bill that you put into this company while also receiving a dividend yield of 2.77% every single year so you can't really go wrong here when you put this company into your portfolio um, i own a share of it here and i have several other shares on a different platform um, if you have never seen Weeble or used Weeble, I love the technical analysis. It has everything I need. It's kind of like the Think or Swim platform on TD Ameritrade, but not as technical, and I don't have to download any major uh, software. And it's a little bit more advanced than, say, Robinhood, which is where I started. Now, I still use Robinhood, TD Ameritrade, and Webull. I have many accounts open on across the board to diversify even more and that is something i'd like to share to you so if you've never signed up with Webull, sign up below and you can get two free shares up to a couple hundred dollars and i hope you guys enjoy this video and if you have any other stocks that you'd like me to review or analyze i can this is what i like to do it helps you guys out and if you've noticed and have been following my channel for a while i don't normally do reviews on the mainstream normal stocks that everybody hears about i like to find stocks that no one's ever heard of because there are tens of thousands of stocks and companies out there that you can invest in and some of them have these 200 and 250 percent uh, appreciation scores and and a great dividend payouts and they're like kind of hiding below the 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 norm right everyone's talking about tesla microsoft facebook but no one's really talking about these other companies behind the scenes some of these companies you may not have, have even heard of and now you add them to, to your portfolio and you're able to start making some serious appreciation and monthly or quarterly payouts to you if you guys want to learn more about REITs click this video up here I got the five REITs that you should have in your portfolio right now today go ahead and click on it and we'll see you in the next video